Okay, so your left hand one here, buddy, was your before swing. Bit short in the back swing, hadn't really sort of shifted any weight. Now as you start coming down, as the speed of club now is coming down this way, your body is going to get thrown that way, yeah? Just, that's just physics, okay? You've got sort of a, like a slingshot effect. When something's happening fast this way, there's a reaction the other way, yeah? So unless your weight's got to the left-hand side early or before, as you're coming to the golf ball now, you're going to get thrown backwards onto your right side. At the point of contact now, your head's a long way behind the golf ball. Your low point now is going to be back here, hitting up on the ball, potential to hit that big, vicious hook. And then you go, oh, okay, I'll, just, I'll just hang on to the club face and block it. Doesn't strike the ball very well. You're not getting that kind of fizz off the club face that you were maybe a few months prior to that, okay? The practice movement you've got to make now is on the right-hand side, okay? These are obviously smaller swings. You move in there and then there, yeah? So you're completing the back swing. There's that movement, okay? And you can do this with a 9-9 in a small swing. You could probably do the 9-9 with a fullish swing. Could you do it with a 7-9 with a fullish swing? Yeah. Could you do the 5-9 with a fullish swing? Probably not yet, but you will do, just with practice, okay? But making these movements here now, there you go. So you feel that movement there now, so you're bumping into that left side, so you feel the pressure now moving into that front foot. So now when you come back to the golf ball, you're more on top, you add speed to that now, you're going to be more on your left side, yeah? Now we see the shot you hit when you put a golf ball in the way, which is obviously your kind of instinctive reaction, so the more of these you can do, move into that left side, there, Moving to that left side, then the ball gets in the way. Moment of truth. And then you try to go there, you see? So as that club is starting to come, you, in your mind, you're like, I'm definitely doing it. I'm not saying you're not doing it, but you're not quite, it's, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's not miles away, but at least because the speed has been taken off, there's less of you being thrown backward, you see? And that's what your dad was saying. When you slow it down, you get less of that effect. So does it fix the fault? No, but does it make the fault less bad? Yes. It gets you on a golf course, but then you say, you know, that golf course, just chipping the ball around the fairway, which for you doesn't feel kind of like you're striking it so good. You don't get that kind of enjoyment of how well you can hit it, okay? Obviously, this one here, now you're going to finish there, but you're used to your body kind of coming through quite a lot after the shot. You want to be on that left side here, and then from there, we extend back and up through the shot and feel taller. You tend to keep going further left at the hitting position because... You're hitting the ball from back on your right side, then trying to play catch up, and then it's like, oh. And sometimes if it's too much, then get thrown forward, yeah? So the practice for you, buddy, is going to be up the top here now, move left, move left, move left. Just do that to the point where you can't not do it. I'll send that video through that guy doing it, so you can just stand there and watch him, okay, right, am I doing it? But we want to look for an impact position that's more kind of, well, that's the club over the golf ball there now, more into that position rather than shroom, and you falling back, yeah? That would work with driver, maybe, but, yeah, just the potential is that a flip hook's going to come into place. You're dabbing on 17, you just hit massive hooks out of bounds, and then you're saying, okay, I don't want to go left, I'll do the same swing, and I'll just hang on to it and just blast it down the first fairway, or the 18th fairway. Okay, mate? That makes sense? Yeah. With the setup. Yeah. Setup, well, I think sometimes, yeah, I'll go back to this thing, because sometimes you get a little bit, if I go back here now to this one, you get a little bit capital Y, I would prefer to see a little bit more lowercase y, yeah? So your lead arm and the club would be a little bit more in line. So rather than being here, you'd be a little bit more that way. Just a smidge, yeah? Sometimes you get a little bit kind of mid exactly, there you go. So there's lead from here down to your left elbow, hand and arms, a bit more that way. You sometimes get a bit back here sometimes, which, again, in some regards, might actually reduce the amount of flick and hook you have, but... Long term, you want to get in that position where that club shaft's a bit more leaning forward, yeah? So when you swing the club, then you haven't got to try and push the hands forward to get shafting. You've kind of already got it, yeah? Rather than being back here, middle, and then trying to <laughs> create something you can't create. Okay, buddy? Yeah. So yeah, it's about moving your body better, getting that body to move left. Basically, it seems like an eternity earlier. It's like split second earlier, yeah? We can go too early, so we don't want to be leaning on the left side right away because then you'll get too steep as well, the bits and pieces. Yeah. You shift a bit off the ball, and then you move left as you come. And when you move left, there, you, you move left to target. You don't move left to the golf ball. Because if you do that, your balance will go forward on your toes, and you're probably an unmentionable. So. That's it. So you're moving into that left foot. There you go. All right, buddy?